If this is your very first time tuning into Post in a Diary, please kindly like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever is necessary to engage with the content. Please also engage with us down there in the comment section. And if you are a returning subscriber, please also kindly sit in. And also remember, every day is a good day to get a delivery from the postman. And I am the postman. And once again, welcome to Post in a Diary. So today's delivery is simply a song review of the song called Walking on Water by audio mark so without wasting any more time walking on water features blacky and zuchiko dope it comprises of a trap beat and thick 808 and if you were wondering what kind of sound is offered in this song it's generally trap because audio mark loves making trap music and he loves trapping he loves the marsh pit and we've all heard why me that features blacky as well as nasty c and we've also heard audio sizzle that features nasty c so blacky i think is brought forth in this song just because he's being a cheat code of late he's been a cheat code and he offers a different dynamic in all the songs that he's been featured on and i think he's i think maybe because of his momentous run he's now the most reliable feature act in south africa yeah and zuchu coke dope has been silent ever since the release of anxiety plus plus and i think to his fans this could be marked as a remarkable return Gucci comes into the fold and reflects about fighting pains and choosing to be high in substances whenever he was at his lowest point in life. I think while his second verse could be summed up by telling that he was actually rhyming words that end in a, like end with the letters E R and the letter A. So he rhymed that for like 12 seconds straight, which was I think really, really done exceptionally well. I think also Zuchi has established himself as an act. That he's always going to talk about things that matter to him and all things related to mental health. And yeah, man, he, he's not going to shy away from talking about things that matter to him all the time. He is introduced by the piano chords in the song and he sings in this angelic tone that he, I think it's similar to the one he made use of in, in the song called Hold or, or rather David. Um, it's, it's quite significant and stands out in the song when Blackie comes in and he I think he he has this thing of changing the dynamic of the song like the song is is trap but whenever he came on there's a the piano chords just slow down the tempo of the song in general and he he just brings you in and invites you to listen to whatever he's saying and in the song he talks about pulling uh, like daggers from his back particularly talking about the people that have backstabbed him and having him to clean up their mess that they have done in in, in his life you know and I think Blackie's, he, he's exceptional, you know, and I think he, yeah, I mean, he's, his talent is something that can't be measured. The drums gain prominence in the song to indicate the switch between Blackie and Zuchi, like between the, the, the verses. And to my surprise, both men they didn't shy away from the occasion and they were able to, I don't know, go in whenever they were supposed to, you know, the... I don't think there's many beat breaks in, in, in this song. Um, Zuchi came forth and he started rapping. And when Blackie, uh, Blackie was needed to sing, he did exactly that. And I think both men rose to the occasion. And this is what makes the song whatever it is right now. Um, it's quite also interesting to note that Blackie is, is one person who's mastered the act of mumbling and having a great delivery at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense, but... Blackie is able to sound really, really like awful. Like you, you, you're you, not sure what he's saying, but it sounds nice at the same time. Like he does it so well, man. And I, I can't hate on it. Like it's something that's really well. And I think it takes enough practice and enough time in the game to actually master that as an art. Generally, I think this is a great song because it's like a, a beautiful use of sense towards the end of the song. And this is a trap song and contextually good at the same time. It's rare for for a trap song to be such to have such contextual evidence or contextual um texture if i'm making sense like it's rare for for a trap song to move anyone because trap is generally a genre for vibes you know and whenever artists try to talk about something meaningful it just comes across the long way and in most cases it becomes boring and redundant but i think in this case they were just able to just match uh, a particular vibe and also talk about whatever it is that mattered to them at the same time. And it actually worked out. And I think the song generally has a pop. And I enjoyed the fact that em uh, Audio Mark didn't try to emulate 
the previous songs that he's, he's done like he didn't try to emulate why me because why me is like easily a recitable joint and he also didn't try to emulate uh audio sizzle and i think the song essentially has its own flavor and the song has life on its own and it stands out on its own without having to be too busy be too loud and i think this is a song that you would play he would play in in one of his sets maybe as a dj but i'm also interested in looking i'm also looking forward to whatever audio mark is is, is working on because i think it's it's time for him to actually give us a, a huge body of work you know because i think he he's capable of giving us the vibes that we need you know and i think in south africa we don't have enough of those and if you tap into maybe the soundcloud scene you'll find a lot of those you know but i think in the commercial space we don't have a lot of those because i think we'll just have to wait and see as far as maybe looking in towards these men are working on because i think black has been maybe by far the most consistent act in south africa right now and i don't know what suchi is working on but i'm sure he's working on a body and i don't know what audio mark is look is working on besides this joint and i think I, the only reason why i decided to review this song is because i actually I thought that it's worth the review and I I think you guys need to listen to the song because I think it's it's a good song it's a great song um there are so many layers within the song that can help anyone out there going through something you know and also feel good about themselves you know it's it's not genuinely a sad song it's not a deep song but it has essence it has like an an essence of of being a deep song at the same time while offering the vibe that everyone else needs you know so I think um in ending, I, I just want to say, man, shout out to Audio Mark for this joint. And this is a beautiful song. And kindly like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever is necessary. Post in the diary, man, and enjoy the song review. And I'll see you on the next one.